morning, Aquarius. Uh, what am I going to do with your reading today? I'm a bit confused. I don't know if I'm just tapping onto um, different energies that are um, all competing to come to your reading today with com like conflicting stories or if you are feeling conflicted. Um, I'm not quite sure. I did a bit of a pre-reading last night and the stuff that came through there... I don't know. I don't know what to make of your energy at the moment, Aquarius. On the one hand, um, it feels very, very compassionate. Um, you know, Aquarius in good energy, very, very compassionate. Uh, I got Fix You by Coldplay. Tears are streaming down your face. Literally had tears streaming down my face as I was setting up today. Um, Nobody But You by Blake Shelton and Gwen, Gwen Stefani, which is one of my favourite songs at the moment. And yeah, it came out with the King of Cups as well. So I don't know... I see that as very compassionate Aquarius energy. Um, someone with a lot of love to give. Someone who wants to protect people. Very compassionate. Um, but something's not right. The Deceit card came out um, of this deck. Um, and I am picking up on something that's not right, right? Um, um, one of the intuitive songs, sorry, uh, Nobody But You and Fix You were the two randomised songs from Spotify. The intuitive songs that are coming through, I got When It All Falls Down by Alan Walker and Is It Any Wonder by Keen. Um, so, When It All Falls Down by Alan Walker, I'll be fine, I know, you say what hurts the most. That line in particular, you say what hurts the most. Um, you're a drug that I'm addicted to and I want you so bad, but I'll be fine and that's that. When it just ain't right, and it's time to say goodbye, something's not right, something's not right. So, there's, it's like there's love, but somebody's, you're the drug that I'm addicted to and I want you so bad, nobody but you. And then, is it any wonder, living in the kingdom of the good and true. So... Aquarius, I do get this feeling of your energy being very compassionate for, like, um, you know, very interested in, like, a community and society. You can be quite political. I can think of a couple of Aquarius friends who are very political, um, who, um, you know, really want um, a fair and equal society where everybody's valued, everybody's looked after, no matter what the circumstances are, um, I keep getting adverts through about homeless charities and things like this. It's like you, re you really want everybody to feel safe and secure, you know, have those basic needs met. I'm seeing um, Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Um, you know, you really want to make sure that people have a roof over the head, food on the table, um, you know, going into like the ability to love and be loved. Um, so yeah, I don't know if this is what's going on for you at the moment, but some of you I think have got a specific love interest, but I don't know, the deceit card was there, something's not right feels like somebody's walking away from something I'm not quite sure um, I'm going to tune into your energy so I've got Palo Santo burning to kind of clear out whatever that negativity is um, I'm going to tune into your energies and I'm going to pull some cards very short introduction today for me <laughs> uh, Aquarius um, I'm trying to release control of this reading completely because um, I'm trying to overthink it, I'm really trying to release into it. Um, as I was tuning in, I got, um, don't move, uh, what is it, don't move, nobody gets hurt. I pray, don't move, um, no. I'm probably gonna explode, it's true, I'm probably gonna explode. Um... Yeah, my body is your body. So, but I'm really worried. I'm really worried, Aquarius. Just be careful because... I don't know. Release control. Release control. Okay, just breathe. Just breathe. Just trust the universe. Let's go. Uh, what's going on, please, for Aquarius? Can I get a card for Aquarius today, please? That's a lot of cards. Okay. Uh, adjacent possibilities. So it's like, don't worry. If you've got a lot of options, um, you can see kind of all these doors, they all lead kind of to the same place in the end. Um, so release to the universe. Trust the universe. 
maybe don't move just yet because perhaps you don't have full information. Um, appreciation. Um, that's kind of like the garden and the gate card. Um, okay, interesting. Let me just... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the... Oh my goodness, you've got three angels, right? Uh, yeah, the divine is at play in your reading. Um, the universe is definitely here, um, sorting something out for you. Um, trust, oh look at you, you've got yin-yang there as well, and community. So I was saying about that immediately, you know, community is very important to you, Aquarius. Um, the people around you, the the society, I'm seeing it very much as society around you at the moment. Um there may be some conflict in um, your environment at the moment. Some um, it could be workplace, it could be home. Um, there's some kind of tension. I feel there's some kind of um, competitiveness. Um, but you have appreciation here. I think perhaps what's going on? Something to do with wanting to be appreciated wanting to be appreciated for what you do wanting rec recognition for for what you do um but there's definitely some kind of tension there um like i say this you've got three angels here um so you you want balance with this yin yang card here you want a uh, <clears throat> equality my throat's closing you may ha be having trouble communicating what you want to say here um who have we got i'm just looking at which which angels are here uh second chakra archangel ariel third chakra archangel gabriel is this the throat chakra fourth chakra archangel raphael no uh possibly uh let me just check those okay so um I feel like you're definitely trying to bring love into a situation. Um, I, mean, I just heard openly hostile. The situation may be openly hostile. You know, people are airing their grievances. Um, my boss is texting me there, so, um, right, uh, or WhatsApping me. Um, love, compassion, and self acceptance. Uh, Raphael extends a beautiful green energy surrounded by gentle waves of pink to your heart center. This card upright indicates that you now have a greater readiness to receive love from others, as well as from yourself. It could also indicate that a much needed healing from a previous broken heart is taking place. The tender vibrations of Raphael uh, remind you to encourage yourself with the compassionate self-talk that you desire to hear from others. Know that you do know that as you do the light from your heart center will shine with an irresistible beauty and the universe will send people and situations that cause your sense of love and support to grow and grow so yeah you are um you are trying to uh, foster this sense of love in yourself and in others you're opening up your heart space and allowing love in um, especially that compassion um i really picked on the, up on the word compassion like within yourself uh, to yourself the compassion you show for others um you know bringing that to yourself as well Lo learning to love yourself um which is really really good really really healthy um third chakra archangel shamuel um so that's 37 so i think this is the solar plexus um yeah solar plexus Emotions of desire, life force energy. The powerful Archangel Shamuel is holding a beautiful, beautiful sphere of golden light at the solar plexus, which is the location of the your third chakra and the center of your life force energy. The issues here revolve around emotions of desire and your personal energy. When the card appears upright, it indicates that an increased enthusiasm is present or soon to be on its way. This is a great time to move towards the completion of your desires. Your life force is vibrating with power and resonance, and your soul is calling to you to direct your energy in a focused, purposeful manner. This angel of power is with you now, so go for it. So you're moving with love, compassion. Um, it says desire, but it's more like... Um, not necessarily sexual. I mean, it could be. Alarm bells ringing. Um... It's it's more like uh, enthusiasm or passion. Passion's the right word. So love and passion and uh, like 
something that that makes you feel fired up and motivated uh, something you care very passionately and earnestly about um, so but then you've got this co um, hostilities card right in the center of all this so you're facing opposition I think for what you're trying to do um, you want to be appreciated you want to appreciate others uh, you want to bring love into this situation you're very passionate actually about bringing in this healing energy fix you right I will try and fix you if you try your best this is for you Aquarius if you try your best and you don't succeed uh, if you get what you want and not what you need um, how like if someone came to you like that what would you say to them what would your advice be to them uh look in the mirror and kind of give that advice back to yourself um if you're moving from a place of from your heart space uh from your intuition from your uh from a very earnest place um then you that's interesting sorry i've just i think i got a message for myself there um if you're moving from a very earnest place, then um, then you're not doing anything wrong. Um, if you're moving forward with an open heart, in your own truth, yes, you, everybody's going to face hostil hostilities when they do that. But if you're moving with love and compassion um, and care about other people, then you're not doing the wrong thing. Um, okay, let's have a look at our, our second chakra, Archangel Ariel. Intimacy and creativity, yeah, it could, it could be some sort of, definitely something that you, you're very motivated about. Um, the second chakra vibrates in the energy of the beautiful angel Ariel. She sends a bright orange energy, prompting inspired creativity and greater comfort with intimacy. When this card appears upright, it's urging you to get creative. Let yourself reach out into unexplored areas of self-expression and new projects that may have a more creative approach. This is also a time when the energies of closeness with others and nurturing yourself can flow more freely. You can now open yourself to the emotional intimacy that may be coming your way. Emotional intimacy. So nurture yourself and be ready to receive the affection and camaraderie of the resonant souls around you. The affection and camaraderie of the resonant souls around you. But it's like there's this, there's, there's this problem here, this hostility. So you may be doing something that you know is the right thing to do, perhaps. You, you know that you're doing something... this yin yang as well so it could be a connection um what what was that line um your body is my body right um nobody but you um yeah you could have met your match with um uh, the number 22 there um 22 is 11 and 11 right um so you could have met your oh, excuse me Sorry about that. My son at the last second realised it was Pudsy Bear Day at school, so it's um, non-uniform day, children in need. Um, so I had to just dive around uh, trying to find his Pudsy Bear t-shirt and his um, non-uniform. Uh, right, okay. Um, yeah, you could have met some kind of counterpart here. Doesn't have to be romantic, but it could be. It's somebody who's um, um, almost like your mirror. Um, somebody who... Um, all your strengths and weaknesses, uh, they have the opposite. <laughs> um, so any, anything that you struggle with, they can pick up for you. So you work really well as a team together. Whether that's a romantic relationship or a friendship or um, a business relationship, whatever that is. Uh, for others, it's just about wanting to bring balance into a situation. Wanting to balance out um, the kind of masculine... Um, again, I'm talking about traditional gender roles, so uh, it's just the way... It's just the formal system of tarot, but you can switch gender out rules around as you need to. Um, so, yeah, just don't worry too much about the gender or traditional gender roles, but it's more about the energy. So the yang energy is uh, takes action. It goes for what it wants. It's direct. It's um, passionate. It's... Um, it's kind of the pushing forward energy when yin is the more yielding energy, the more receptive energy. Uh, so this is about going for what you want. Also, I think being receptive to the needs of others, um, the need to kind of balance out, especially like hostilities. Perhaps it's something to do with like there's something that you want. There's something that you want to go for, um, but you don't want to kind of like 
rock the boat too much you kind of want to get your way while also um, being sympathetic to the needs of the people around you um, something like this I think is what's going on for you um, so I think what I'll do is just um, kind of it leads with an appreciation though so appreciation for what you have possibly as well um, I don't really want to have that hostilities card in the middle I'm going to swap it around hostilities you can be at the start appreciation can go in the middle uh, and with community perhaps you're being appreciated by a community um, I'm just looking at the camera so I can spread them out nicely <laughs> But yeah, just uh, try not to overthink anything. Uh, try not to worry too much. Uh, release to the universe. So if you are facing um, open hostilities, they keep saying, um, you know, arguments, conflicts, um, try not to control that or uh, worry too much about it or, or have concerns about how that's going to go. Just kind of whatever, like, obviously these are um, like kind of Christian deities, um, whatever your religion is, just kind of... Um, ask the universe, ask uh, whatever um, whatever works for you, um, reach out and ask for help, ask for support, ask for guidance. Um, I get a lot of guidance through songs and music, I can ask a question and, and randomise a song and I'll get an answer to my question, so that could also work for you possibly. Um, Aquarius, what's going on for Aquarius please? Bear, vulture, um, There could be an energy here where possibly a King of Swords type energy, um, where somebody has ended something. Um, oh, there's something else underneath the bear, so we'll have a look at that in a moment. Uh, somebody could have ended something, uh, or a situation could be closing out, and it's almost like you want to, you or somebody else is is there waiting to go in for the pickings of of whatever that is. Uh, bear and black egg. Mm. there is going to be disappointment with something something isn't going to work out um don't worry it, it may not be a specific thing that you're thinking about it may the vultures come in when something's ended the black egg to me is um there's three eggs in this deck, the cosmic egg, the golden egg, and the black egg. For me, the cosmic egg is potential, uh, a gift from the universe, something coming in with a lot of um, potential for growth. Um, the golden egg is something tangible um, that, that's real, that can be grasped, a bit like the ace of pentacles. The black egg for me is something that um, is not going to bear any fruit. Uh, it's it's not going to go anywhere. It's, it's kind of like a, a dead egg. Um, so you could have, there could be something that you that you went for and it didn't work out again that fix you song uh when you try your best and you don't succeed uh but this is kind of saying bear through it um the bear card the polar bears um in the tarot for me are um very hardy very persistent um that they can go on those long journeys and and persevere so this is telling me um you need to persevere through some sort of ending uh persevere through something that didn't work out it didn't Give you the opportunities or the the payout that you thought it was going to do um black bear black bears may be important to you somehow i'm seeing bear and black black bear um they hibernate as well bears you may need to if you feel like you've been battling uh something uh it may be taking a lot out of you you may need to rest uh recuperate um you know kind of <laughs> retreat back into that cave um have a big big sleep you know clear your calendar for a couple of days just don't give yourself any responsibilities try and free yourself up as much as you can you know obviously if you've got like children or something there's um, going to be um responsibilities there that you still need to do but as much as you can try and free up some space for yourself uh clear your social calendar and just go and hibernate uh, sleep it off, read a book, watch some movies, um, and just allow yourself a little bit of recovery time there, um, is what I think I'm getting from that. Right, let's go into your spread. Um, I'm going to go past, present, future, heart space, 
um, thoughts, action space. Just know it's a general reading. There's going to be quite a few Aquariuses coming in here or people interested in an Aquarius. Um, so, um, do you know what? I mean, I'm actually going to move these cards out of the way because there's too many. We'll put you in here on the top. Um, so... Every, not, every, not everything that I say is going to resonate with you. It's not. Good, it's not going to be one person. I mean, it might be one person's story. I ask for the best possible message to come through. That's going to do the most good. So, it could be that everything ticks all the boxes for you. Most of the time, people will get one or two messages throughout the reading, and it's up to you to really engage with that intuition to work out which messages are for you and which ones aren't. Um, just know that anything that comes up in the future energy, it's. Um, there's multiple forks in the road so if anything comes up that's particularly challenging or difficult just know that the choices that you make and the actions that you take today uh, will have an effect on the future outcome that's that's uh, mutable it's changeable so um, if something is unavoidable you can take it as a heads up um, to prepare for it uh, so let's get into it emotionally what was going on in the past emotionally please for Aquarius what was going on emotionally in the past please for Aquarius um, the Queen of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. Uh, this could be you uh, feeling very, very fired up and passionate about something. Um, it could be you really taking care of his, your appearance, um, taking care of the way you look, you know, getting your hair cut, getting, buying some new clothes, some new makeup, um, doing a bit of exercising. Or it could be sort of like you... Um, just feeling really really fired up and passionate about something probably a new po project with this page of pentacles the pages all, are all about learning uh, new beginnings studying they're the students of the tarot um, the pentacles um, are something tangible so this is some kind of uh, a plan or a project uh, something you you were putting into action uh, yeah um, so you were in, emotionally you were preparing to to put a lot of energy and effort and passion behind some kind of tangible plan alternatively this queen of wands is somebody around you that you were connecting with um so somebody who's probably very uh, vivacious very um attractive fun to be around uh kind of a natural leader very charismatic um very passionate about things uh quite outspoken um pretty sexy as well uh so we'll put that up there we'll see what becomes of that i'll get clarifiers uh so this was what you were dealing with on in on an emotional level what was going on in aquarius's thoughts please that's quite a lot i'm just going to take these ones that are upright there could have been some sort of fallout or concern about a fallout in your thoughts um when a lot of cards come out for me that can indicate a fallout um this is Major Arcana. Both these cards are Major Arcana, so that you were, there was a lot going on in your thoughts. This is big energy. Uh, the Magician and the Wheel. Um, I see this as you trying to make your own fortune in life or trying to figure out because it's mental right trying to really trying to figure out how to uh, change your look or bring about some kind of like good opportunity and you start in life. Um, the Wheel card is all about um, it's like the wheel of life right. Um, if it was up, uh, reversed, it'd be bad luck. If it's in the upright, it's good luck, uh, good fortune, uh, good karma coming in for you. <clears throat> Excuse me, a happy turn of events. I'm just choking on nothing there, choking on air. Uh, a happy turn of events. Um, and the magician card is somebody who takes their dreams and makes them into a tangible reality. They have all the tools at their disposal that they need to be able to do that. Um, there's somebody who really... Um, does take the wheel of their own life uh, this is what i'm seeing going on mentally for you you're like right how do i take charge of my own life how do i create my own look um how do i bring my dreams and wishes and manifest them into my reality um what was going on in the action space though please for aquarius again all this fallout um this is too many cards the Knight of Wands, the Death card, the Ace of Swords, Seven of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles. So this is what you're dealing with in, in a tangible, tangible reality. Um, so I'm just taking a moment to process this. What's coming through for me is... 
I'll start with this death and rebirth card here. Um, this I was talking about ending some right something that didn't work out. Um, this is where this card's coming in. Um, it can be the universe coming in to put an end to something because it's not for your highest good. So it's it's the universe clearing something out of your life to make way for new possibilities. And it can be very very painful when this happens because we excuse me my throat's closing up this could be problems with your your throat chakra um you know not being able to speak about something that you need to speak about which again is could be indicated by the ace of swords here um or it's difficult for you to talk about this um you had some kind of clarity here um the ace of swords is is um almost like a light bulb moment, uh, news coming in, inf a piece of information coming in that gives you a sense of clarity, it gives you a new perspective on something. Uh, so see this is like you receiving some kind of information. It can also be um, uh, cutting something out for a fresh start, so take that as it resonates. It could be with the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Swords here together, this would indicate um, Here's the deception. The Seven of Swords is the deception that I was picking up on. Uh, this is uh, the Thief in the Night card. Um, somebody trying to sneak away in the middle of the night or um, do something a bit underhand here. Just being strategic, being quite um, secretive about what they're up to. But I see, excuse me, this this crow, crow coring here, um, I feel is something to do with you either... Uh, speaking about this or receiving information about this um, could be to do with something uh, some kind of sexual matter uh, or some kind of creative project again but the knight of wands is somebody who um, they can it can be depending on the cards that are around it it can be the player card uh, in the tarot uh, somebody who um, runs in um, with a lot of passion but runs back out again so somebody who's kind of in and out um, spontaneous um, acts without thinking um, so it could be that somebody has stepped out of a relationship um, it could be that it's simply to do with some kind of some kind of passion here somebody was too passionate went for, went for what they wanted but didn't put a lot of thought behind it but it's created this, this death and rebirth here um, here, over here it ends up with the knight of pentacles the knight of pentacles is someone who's very very slow moving it could be this this something to do here i mean it's your action space so it could be that you're trying to do something um it could be that you're trying to kind of sneak away from a situation in the middle of the night or you know you're trying to kind of exit something stage left <laughs> chased by a bear um but the knight of pentacles is very very slow moving they come up with a plan um, they um, make sure they've ticked all the boxes, uh, ticked, ticked all the T's and dotted all the I's is what I'm trying to say. Um, they're very, very strategic. There's a lot of strategy here. Uh, it's very slow moving. Um, I am going to probably put quite a few of these cards back. And I'm just going to leave the death and rebirth card out because this is kind of what's going on here. So something ending so that something can begin, right? Uh, there's just quite a lot of cards. They may want to come out again. So I wanted to put them back in the deck to give them a chance to explain the story a bit more. Uh, what was go What's going on currently, please? Currently in Aquarius' thoughts. They want me to split the deck, sorry. Okay, what's going on currently for Aquarius, please, in their emotions? Currently in Aquarius' emotions. Feeling very impatient. Uh, feeling like you don't have the full story. You don't, you don't quite understand what's going on. There's secrets uh, that... Things are being feeling like things are being hidden from you. Think feeling like you're in the dark in a situation. Getting quite impatient over it. Really wanting to take action. Um, feeling a little bit unbalanced here as well. Uh, perhaps you've been patient for a long time. You're getting a bit fed up of it. Um, also, there could be something to do with intuition here. These two dogs here again, yin yang energy, right? Um, 
could be connecting with somebody across water uh, on quite an intuitive level. Uh, could be dreaming about somebody, um, you know, connecting, having discussions in the dream space, but you're finding it hard to um, perhaps. The Temperance card is um, is he can see he's got a moon in one hand and this the sun in the other hand. Uh, this is about balancing out those passions. Um, and the emotions, uh, the yin and yang energy. Yeah, so there's definitely an issue for you where you're trying to balance balance something out here. Um, you're feeling a little bit in the dark, though, in this situation. Um, what's going on in the thoughts, please, for Aquarius? Uh, again, you're, you're, no wonder, no wonder I was getting that overthinking release to the universe energy. This is all major arcana now in your thought space. Um, in fact, it's major arcana in your emotions and here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards. Of nine cards, seven of them are major arcana. There's something really big going on for you, Aquarius. This is this is pretty major. Whatever this is, it's, it could be a huge life change for you. Uh, a huge, like a, a mega rebirth. Um it's probably very very challenging it's probably very draining you've got the bear here to indicate perseverance um it's a big deal for you you've got what three angel cards the universe has really really got your back here through this um in your thoughts you are trying to see things from a different perspective uh there could be a sense of some sort of hold up especially with temperance in reverse here a feeling of kind of like having to hold back from something for a long time it's taking a lot of strength to do this uh you are um there could be something here to do with confidence as well uh trying to perhaps see yourself um in a different way um the hanged man is the aquarius card in the tarot um along with the star so um yeah, it's definitely trying to see things from a different perspective, perhaps trying to put yourself in so somebody else's shoes. Um, but it's like the universe, whatever this hold up is, it's the universe, I think, trying to protect you from something that you're not quite ready for. Uh, it could be that you need more clarity on the situation before you move forward, but definitely a sense of perseverance coming through here. Uh, I could go into the signs, but you've got a lot of signs here. Um, already you've got uh, Gemini, Virgo, um, Scorpio, Sagittarius, uh, all the fire signs, Leo, Aquarius, Pisces. So it could be that there's a lot of people involved in this situation. Um, it could just be that there's, it just feels like there's major energy going on in your chart right now. If you haven't already, go and hit that, um, go and hit the link in the description box below for, um, Cafe Astrology or Astrology Cafe. Um, and do your birth chart. Um, you, it doesn't matter too much if you don't know the time that you were born, but put everything else in, um, and um, and check out your your horoscope because it'll give you it'll give you a massive thing that tells you all about your birth chart. Gives you lots of information about your personality, uh, but it also um, you can also get information about what's going on in your horoscope, and it's it's quite in depth. Uh, definitely go and look at the big energy. So what's Saturn doing right now? What's Jupiter doing? Uh, because I feel like there's there's a major overhaul here for you. Um, you there's probably a lot going on in your birth chart. Um, what's going on in the action space, please? You have a lot of nostalgia for your past, uh, nostalgia for your childhood perhaps, or uh, if not nostalgia, you are uh, processing memories from your past, processing memories from, from po possibly something that's ended. Uh, you have the Nine of Pentacles here, which is a card about being independent, uh, being stable on your own. Um, you are figuring out how to how to look after yourself tangibly, how to uh, not be reliant on others for... Um, the practical things in life. Um, you are trying to create your own abundance here, uh, manifest your own dreams and wishes uh, regarding um, a sense of wanting equal, equal give and take um, in relationships, uh, wanting fairness, wanting, um, not wanting to be codependent with people, but being able to enter into relationships um, 
with a kind of um I'm getting quid pro quo, quo again with a kind of um um equal yeah really equal status again that yin yang energy they're different but balanced they they have something to offer each other um nobody's overtaking from a situation um what is going on uh, in the future heart space for aquarius please if they continue on the path they're on now um is that another major arcana yeah the hierophant bloody hell aquarius um you could be um really fostering a sense of connection to your spiritual side to the universe um i'm going to pull a clarifier on that um it could be that you're ascending um you're having a spiritual ascension you can go and google that if you don't know what that is um which would explain why you feel very very drained and need to hang, kind of do that hibernation um it could be that you're trying to um seek some kind of higher guidance some higher wisdom in regards to your emotional space um yeah i really feel like you're opening up emotionally and, and con connecting to y your emotions your, your feelings your passions your compassion um and exploring that a little bit more uh what is going on please in the thoughts for aquarius what's going on in the thoughts for aquarius Ten of Cups, beautiful. You want you're figuring out what makes you happy. You're figuring out um, what what relationships in your life make you happy. What what activities? What where do you want to be? Where what? You only have a limited amount of time on Earth, and you want to spend it in a place where that makes you feel happy and supported and loved, and where you can share that love with other people. And you know, whatever that happy place is for you, that's what you're trying to th figure out mentally. You know that you want to move to um, people and situations that that yeah make they make you happy. Whatever that is for you. So, what's going on in the future action space, please, for Aquarius? Future action space, please, for Aquarius. You are really in your head about it, um, really in your head about it. Uh, and this is what's going to hold you back and this is what's going to trip you up. Um, the feelings of self-doubt, feelings of anxiety, feelings of that you're not worth um, the happiness that you're trying to manifest. Uh, anxiety and anguish over things that didn't work out in the past. Uh, you're too much in your head, Aquarius. You know, you are one of the air signs. So, yeah, you're not a water sign if you thought you were. You're an air sign. Um, and air signs are all about um, uh, being very intellectual, um, that kind of mental processing. Often they can be very intelligent, uh, not necessarily uh, academically, um, but, um, you know, some are, some aren't. Um, a lot of Aquarians I know are very highly educated. Um but yeah definitely a huge capacity for mental processes but you there's a lot there's a lot going on here so do try and release as i said right at the start of the reading uh try and release it to the universe because the universe is here you've got three angels in your reading um it's overthinking is this when your thoughts turn it turn into the negative when it could be mental health issues right um when you get into that negative space um in the headspace it's time to seek support you need to seek support of some kind whatever that is for you whatever works for you because that is what's going to trip you up and hold you back from this um ace of pentacles there as well um some kind of new offer new start new plan um coming in for you something tangible uh, a seed that can be planted and grown um, I am starting to get a headache from this card. Um, I'm just going to take a second. Yeah, I think Aquarius, you need to be aware that you have, because this is what's coming up for you, right? And I did say you can avoid these things. Uh, so if you are aware that you have a tendency to do this, to get into your own head too much, uh, to let your anxieties um, hold you back, um, you know, thinking your way out of things, um, know know that this is a potential potentially coming in for you because and it's natural also it's very very natural to really get in your headspace when there's a lot going on in your life um and it could be that even there's not that much going on in your life but inside internally um there's huge shifts happening for you here aquarius um try to release try to allow the universe to guide you go with the flow 
uh, take each day as it comes, try not to overthink, just um, release and when a decision point comes up, trust your instincts, trust your heart space to guide you in the right direction and you can't really go wrong. Um, I mean, you, things might go wrong, but it's meant to happen. It's it's all part of the universe's grand design and the universe is trying to get us all onto the best possible path, right? So, so just trust my video cut out trust and release um it's funny trust and release and then the video cuts out um do you have anything more to say about that death and rebirth card please the death and rebirth card in the past action space six of emotions yeah uh this is here and here now uh so this is definitely to do with some kind of something from the past you're definitely kind of looking back. Um, I'm hearing don't look back in anger by Oasis. I'm going to write that down. Uh, don't look back. Anger. Oasis. Um, I'm hearing you are worth it. You are worth it. Um, don't look back in anger. Um, and I think this rebirth is is something to do like look they've both got this portal so you're stepping into this new energy uh it's a very emotional energy and it is to do with community and the people around you so figuring something out there i think like you know this is your wish this is this is what's causing this or uh, the outcome of this because if you look through the mask here uh you can see this big star representing um wishes and, and also like um Aquarian energy. I've got my star bracelet on today for you, Aquarius. Um, so you're wishing for this kind of um, very equal, um, fair and share kind of um, relationships with people, I think. Um, what else do I want to clarify? Why is temperance in reverse? Why is temperance in reverse? What's going on there? <laughs> This is trying to come out, but not quite coming out. It's the Four of Wands. Um, so the Four of Wands is to do with uh, stability, um, foundations, milestones, uh, where you kind of um, where you kind of put roots down. Um, there's a sense of not being able to move. Um, this Ace of Materials kind of um, I got this from Santaro, but I really like it and it works well for me. Um, it looks like a location tag. Uh, so here's the Ace of Pentacles. Some kind of new start. Something kind. Of something tangible and new um that you want to do some kind of plan that you're that you're coming up with uh, it involves movement i feel and you're not able to move yet whether it means physical movement like having to move um, having to move location to start a new job or whether it's um requires um travel perhaps to put this plan into action or um or um, it's some kind of movement within something, you know, movement within um, a contract or movement within um, uh, some kind of project. Um, whatever it is, it's, it's stuck in one place. It's not moving at the moment. So you're having this te temperance, impatience energy, I feel. Feeling unbalanced because of it. And why is the moon here? Why is the moon here? Explain the moon to me in um, Aquarius's, I know they called you Oasis then, uh, Aquarius's current emotions. Why is the moon here in Aquarius's current emotions? There's the Queen of Wands again. She's here and here. So this is either you or somebody you're connecting with. Again, somebody who's very creative, very um, outspoken, very vivacious, takes good care of themselves. It's coming through as feminine energy, but it doesn't have to be. It just... Um, the queens are more open and expressive and um, um, kind of they they take more action they're, they're much more on the surface level than uh, than the kings the kings tend to be a little bit more reserved in kind of a mature way of of where the queens are like I'm not happy with this and I'm going to tell you why the kings are more like um, I'm not happy with this, but I'm going to see how it works out. So that's kind of the only difference between the queens and kings in energy. Uh, so yeah, it could be indicating a female for you, or it could be, um, could be um, just your energy um, in a in a more expressive form. Um, why is 
why is this stuck? Why have we got this um, hangman energy? What's causing this, the page of inspiration and queen of cups in reverse? Uh, so somebody is either over emotional or they are um, not expressing emotions. Um, the queen of emotions has a, a huge amount of emotional depth. They are very, very expressive. They are very calm, very balanced. It could be that somebody is imbalanced here, especially with temperance in the reverse. So it could be someone who's over emotional or, um, you know, tends to fly off the handle or um, drowns in the sorrows a lot, something like this. That, or they're just not speaking. They're not expressing their emotions. Uh, we've got this page of inspiration card here. This is somebody who's... Um, Again, uh, it's this kind of younger energy here. We've got a queen and a page, a queen and a page. So it could be the same energy uh, because this is the page of wands as is this card and this card. So it could just be indicating for me that somebody is coming through here. Again, we've got this yin-yang card and the temperance card, which is to do with um, passions and emotions. So this person's coming through very, very passionately, but perhaps there's not a lot of emotion behind it. So it could be, again, you had a kind of player energy of somebody who's... Um, wants to come in for a good time but they're not really investing um, emotionally in a situation so I think this is kind of what you're trying to figure out or trying to trying to understand here could be you could be you there is a need though to get to get both to have both uh, you don't want one without the other really um, I mean it depends but you know, you want connections where you feel passionate and loved, um, you know, where there's emotion, emotional investment and passionate investment. Um, uh, here's that perseverance energy again, the nine of wands, uh, persevering, getting close to the finish line with something. Um, that's in your current action space. Right, why is the Hierophant up here in the emotions? Tell me about the Hierophant in the emotions, the moon card. Yeah, you really, you, you're really trying to connect with your spiritual side, with your emotional side, uh, really trusting your instincts here, trusting the guidance that you're getting from the universe um, to steer you through situations where you can't see the finish line, like, right? Um, I'm noticing the kind of, the finish line back there, it's like, a, almost like a finish line between those two statues. Uh, there's a, a doorway up there at the top of that ladder, but you, you can't really see where it leads. So really kind of, using your intuition here to guide you emotion it might being guided by emotion um through some kind of journey that you don't quite see where it's taking you uh why is the ten of cups here i mean we know why the ten of cups is here but uh the king of wands yeah this this wands person is all over your reading. It could be you, could be somebody that you're connecting with. Um, we do have a king and queen of wands now. So this is um, a couple in the tarot, two people who match equally uh, on a passionate and creative level. Uh, it could be that you and this person, um, when you get together, sparks fly. Um, you kind of... Uh, give each other a lot of it energy uh can you bounce off each other you could bounce ideas off this person um you could feel very inspired by this person especially with this page of inspiration here um it could be could be a sexual connection could be just a creative connection um so yeah just be wary though because this queen of emotions queen of cups in reverse is is um is a concern um this relationship may be very, very fiery, but are there any emotions underlying it? Where's it going to lead? Um, so, yeah. Um, and why is that Nine of Swords here? This is why I think I'm getting that don't move. Don't move, nobody gets hurt. Because you may feel, uh, you know, you've got a lot of ones going on here. You may feel very fired up, very passionate about something. You may really want to move towards something because it's because it's getting you very heated right um but i do get this sense of i mean you're getting frustrated right because you're having to be patient you can't move towards this thing that you're passionate about but i do get a sense of there's something there's definitely something not quite right um something you're missing something you're not quite seeing um so just hold fire, hold fire a little bit longer. 
Um, what's causing this Nine of Swords? There's that High Priestess energy again. Really watery energy. Um, the Hanged Muse again. This is your card again, the Hanged Hangman. Um, again, trying to see things. You've got it here and here. Um, again, trying to see things from a different perspective. Uh, but you can see this person's free now. Uh, they're not being held back anymore. Um, they, they, they're finally free to move. Uh, so the only thing stopping this person now is their own inner conflict with this Five of, uh, five of Wands. Uh, there could be some competition in regards to whatever it is that you want to move towards. Uh, again, co conflicts, hostilities uh, represented by this card. Competition. Um, it just keeps telling me open hostilities, open hostilities. Uh, and then you've got this priestess card again telling you to use your intuition, trust your instincts, uh, bring emotion. Uh, the, the priestess card is probably the most emotional card in the whole of the tarot, uh, but really has a handle on it. It's not this, it, this could be you, right? Um, feeling an emotional imbalance, but finally getting finally getting that emotional balance here uh, it's a very nurturing energy a very mothering energy you have another another divine couple here this is divine counterpart so you know for those of you who are here for um a romantic connection this could indicate um divine counterparts divine feminine divine masculine or you're just balancing out you're figuring out these um, these aspects of yourself we all have divine feminine and divine masculine within us uh, it's part of that yin yang energy it's your highest self uh, your best version of yourself uh, really getting grounded and um, spiritual and a lot of spirituality here um, very very stable uh, so if there was instability here in the past, especially to do with the emotions, it's coming in really, really strongly here, uh, finding that balance. Um, you've got a king as well, a king of wands. There's a sense of um, figuring out how to mature uh, in a... Uh, in regards to your passions, you had that um, solar plexus card. Um, so there's a sense of kind of... Um, a maturity here um you know you started off with this page of page with the queen uh you have this page here um uh, so queen page queen king so there's a sense of um definitely needing to get balanced i feel like what's going on with 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 temperance in reverse and the queen of cups in reverse uh, i'm really seeing this as you um perhaps um uh, you've got the you had the knight of ones as well down here didn't you as well you may have um got really fired up about something um something really spoke to you in a um to your solar plexus chakra to your sense of desire um and you wrestled with it you really wrestled with it um and perhaps um the desire outweighed um, the emotions for a while there uh, perhaps you got over emotional because of this sense of desire um, so I do see this as maturing uh, you end up with three very very mature energies here at the end of your reading um, so it could be that the universe has thrown you a challenge for you to wrestle with um, to you know something that challenges your emotional side and your and your passions uh, it's caused you the you know, they've really put like um, roadblocks in your way here um, because if the universe hadn't have held you up, um, you'd have jumped in like feet first and probably made a big mess of the situation. Don't move, nobody gets hurt, right? Um, so in this time that you've spent in this bare energy, this hibernation energy of, of wrestling with these two aspects of yourself, um, I mean, you're still in it, you're still right in it here, uh, but you're going to be coming out of it and you're going to be coming out, out of it maturer and wiser, um, more confident, uh, with a lot more control over your passions and a lot more emotionally stable. So the universe has thrown you a spiritual lesson here. Um, and you're going to come out of it really, really strong. So just know that any pain, any difficulties, it's it's all for your all for your higher good. I'm going to read... Um, who do I want to read? I think I want to read this Muse of um, Inspiration, this King of Wands, because you've got Wands energy all over here. So I'm going to find that in the book. I'm just going to pause to save time. Okay, a quick note on this book. It's uh, the Muse Tarot, so it talks about female muses. Uh, but just know, again, um, the gender can be swapped. I'm seeing this as actually your energy, uh, Aquarius. So, um, 
Inspirational success, an inspired leader, a visionary, thinking big, the ability to make many moving parts together into one large story, uh, remaining inspired, taking action, making sure you don't create unrealistic expectations. Prompt, the finish line of the phoenix. Death and rebirth energy, right? It all started with the death and rebirth. Uh, welcome, tiny traveller, to the world of inspiration. Expect to be initiated in ways you cannot yet imagine. Fully captivated by ideas and propelled by enthusiastic ambition. This muse offers fire to brand the edges of your experience and racing excitement to ignite the wisdom in your heart. She asks you to enlist the help of others along the way and she shares her power to turn ash Turn to ash that which has been anchoring you. Again, death and rebirth, right? Um, so this is kind of a universal energy, I see. Um, remember that your warm cocoon of confidence and determination will light up your heart with belief and inspiration. It will sing into being a phoenix energy that will allow, allow you to rise from the depths of anything that has been put in your path. Yeah, exactly. Blockages in your path. What did I say? Your tarot, your tarot card reader is good, you know. <laughs> Whoever she is, that tarot card reader, she really knows what she's talking about. She doesn't. She doesn't. <laughs> um, with butterfly heart flutters and a breath to deliver life, it's time for you to set your world aglow. Vision and acumen will be your guides. It's time to find purposeful success and take inspired action as you fall in love with your goals. Sweet divine weaver, please send me a muse inspired by fire with wind in her shoes. So this could be that connection. It could be another person who's coming to your life to activate that um, solar plexus uh, to inspire you to, to burn out the things that aren't working for you anymore and to move into a new phase of um, confidence and um, trusting your instincts and trusting your gut in situations and taking action towards the things that you want in life um i'm also going to read this priestess card because it's all about balancing out the fire and the emotions and you basically have um i mean the high priestess is is better than a king or queen uh, of cups so um and the hierophant as well probably better than the king of pentacles um they, they are literally the highest feminine and masculine energies in the tarot so let's read the priestess Intuitive powers and powerful nudges from spirit, psychic dreams, a time to listen to your instincts, introspection, visions, and hearing the heavens, keeping secrets, hidden wisdom, allowing your projects to germinate in the numerous space of the liminal. Numinous. Numinous? N-U-M-I-N-O-U-S. Prompt. Sacred, sacred shear. I'll just show you. Shear is in like sheer, like a sheer veil. Um, she sits with one foot in this realm and the other in the depths, depths of the cosmic field of information. Hers is a throne made of ocean and sand, a conductor of ancient wisdom and the divine mysteries that are passed down to those who seek her with an open heart. She reaches up for the moon and holds its pulsating energy in her palm, listening for revelations from the muse. She asks you to open up to its secrets, and as a metaphor and mes and as metaphor and message spill forth in strange tongues, you must trust your intuition to, to translate. Your instincts are a powerful guidance system, and the priestess reminds you that working with the subtle energies of the spirit will bring you unshrouded truth, prophetic truth even. Pay attention to your dreams and to your mind's eye, as potent and meaningful messages are coming to you now. Keep your inner voice open to inner listening. And as the ocean, you can hear, our eyes not mired by your fear, and we connect past veiled veneer in truly Delphic crystal clear. I'll just kind of show you that there. There you go. Uh, right, I'm going to pull you an advice card, but I need to stop and start again to squeeze an extra couple of minutes out of this. <laughs> okay, here we go. Why on the bottom there? Oh, <laughs> community. No surprises there, right? Uh, poised poised and ready yeah do you know what the universe i think is prepping you for something sending send throwing you a, a test i think the universe here throwing you a test to see if you're ready for something really good new life <laughs> what, what was i saying can't make it up chop wood but you need to put in the effort okay am i gonna have time to even read all these number eight uh number eight is soul path uh something that can't be broken something that's meant for you um community uh i am going to read 
the oracle message for these. Uh, belonging, being seen and understood by others, like-minded connections, a sense of family and friendship, knowing your place in the world. This card signals a new affiliation with a group. Humans are social creatures and we need to know that we are useful to our families and communities. In a community, everyone has an important function and feels, I matter. Okay. Uh, membership in the group provides a sense of belonging, of kinship and of purpose that comes from working together for the greater fulfilment of all. Perhaps you are part of a spiritual community or an artistic one. Perhaps you are in a learning community where you share your love of education. Regardless of its form or focus, your community brings you joy. You will be inspired by it, by it and want to contribute to it. Your contribution may be as small as showing up or as large as becoming its leader. <laughs> dear leader um no matter your position in the group your presence is needed that's quite funny actually you can definitely see how that relates to somebody uh right 39 new life here we go birth of new ideas growth opportunities a breath of fresh air life renewing itself uh, when spring awakens the world, joy and excitement can be felt all around and in your very core. Blossoms burst from the trees overnight. Birds return home and sing their glorious song and nature is full of promise. Miracles beckon all of us. This is one of those times in your life when new ideas inspire you. So much wand energy, right? All about passion and creativity and ideas. Um, and new opportunities bring you hope for seeing your dreams come true. All is well in your world and you have the energy you need to feel renewed. Allow your heart to fill with enthusiasm. Let your light shine for this is a good time of fortune. There you go. You manifested your fortune back there and it's coming in for you. Uh, 42, the answer to life, love and everything. Um, I hate this card though because it's like goes against my lazy spirit. <laughs> my lazy Leo rising. <laughs> Um, chop wood, being grounded in everyday experience, humility. There are times when the big dream is meant to lie dormant in your consciousness so that you can pay attention to the simple chores in your life. Consider why pruning a tree is the forerunner of delighting in the beautiful blooms when it is in full blossom. The mundane act of pulling off dead leaves, watering the soil and then leaving it to, to be, let it Leaving it be to let take nature take its course is an important step in manifestation. Taking your attention away from your goal brings you to a state of receptivity. This is the deeper purpose for releasing attachment. When you engage in everyday tasks in a meditative, contemplative way, you clear your energy to receive your aha moments, which brings you even closer to what you seek. So this is telling you, I'm about to run out of time, but that's saying, um, try to distract yourself from your goals a little bit. Try and take that time away from obsessing over what you want um, and let those aha moments, listen to music. Right, okay, I'm going to take care. I'm gonna, about to run out of time. Love you guys. Um, good luck. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>